Hey, it's Anthony bringing you some Titanfall gameplay and latest Xbox news. So, I was going through my Xbox One guide and I noticed something odd. What I noticed was my storage was missing about 250 gigabytes. And then I noticed that my games, which were disc based, were taking up as much space as their digital counterparts. So, for instance, Battlefield 4 is a 34 gigabyte digital download and so is the installation. So. So I tweeted to Xbox support and asked this, so why are all my disc-based games taking up the same amount of space on my hard drive as the digital copies? Of course they replied, the disc would install the game and it would be the full game exactly the same copy as the digital copy. Now this, this, ki this kind of like ticked me off a bit because they pretty much just told me like something I already knew, right? So, so as you can see, I replied with this defeats the purpose of the, of buying the game as a disc. So you can see where I'm getting at. Sure, this this may be a design to make the games run smoother, but to me, it just seems like the first step in swaying us into buying digital copies of the games instead of going to the store and buying the disc base, therefore cutting out the middleman like GameStop, EB Games, stuff like that, right? Now this. Like my point, this actually makes sense due to the rise and due to rise and its recent price cut. Also, the fact that the disc is supposed to hold all of the required content, so you don't have to use up all this space. So you may be sitting there here saying, "So now you don't need the disc to play the game, right?" No, not at all. This it's still required to play the game. So as you can see, there is really no point in installing the game onto your console. So I asked if there will be any support for external, um, any external support in the future, and they pretty much said there will be support for external USB in the future. So it's not in the future. So it's not all gloom and doom. I just hope it doesn't cost as much as it did in the previous generations of consoles. Like um, I think. The main reason why I stuck to my 4 gigabyte and just use flash drives is because the external hard drives are like $250. Just for, uh, I think it was like a 320 gigabyte hard drive. So you, you would think that if this was like, if this was the reason why they were doing this, that you wouldn't need your disc to play it. Like, you know how you install a game. Like, I'm pretty sure Xbox 360, you couldn't do it either. You just installed the game so it ran smoother. But you. But yeah, it wasn't that big of a down, like, a installation. It was like maybe a couple of gigabytes more than the standard disk of the game. Now, you, you would think that if you were installing the game, it would be probably about, like, at least half the size of the digital copy because you're not, like, because you're not, like, downloading the game off, like, the entire game with no disk, disk nothing, no physical copy, so yeah pretty much the point so I think that if they want to fix this they should at least um, for the time being make it so that if you install a game into the console you should at least get the option to play the game without the disc I don't know well it's just and this kind of, this kind of just makes me like think, well, maybe this is the reason why they launched the Xbox One without, like, a way to see how much space you're taking up, because that would have caused so much anger in the community when the game first came out, and they found out that they're buying a disc-based copy just pretty much for one reason, and that's to sell and trade their games. Which is, like, not the only reason why we should have disc-based copies. There should be a choice. We should either be able to choose to take up all of our console space, on digital copies and pay less or pay more for the disc space for the disc based copy and pretty much not use as much hard drive space that's pretty much how it should be like I'd hate to see how how it is when you like I, I don't have any DLCs for any of these games so I'd hate to see how big the update is for the DLCs I don't I don't know if the DLCs are actually included in the, the installation. So who knows this this could be like everything mashed up in the installation and not just the base game.
but still, it still shouldn't be as much as the digital copy. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this game, this gameplay, enjoyed the commentary, just leave a like if you feel like it. If you don't dislike it or just don't do anything, and let me know: Are you going? Are you going to get uh, Titanfall when it comes out? Or are you going to wait? And have you tried Thief yet? Because I've been thinking of picking up Thief and playing it because. Nostalgia purposes. I've heard reviews that it's not really that great of a game. I've also heard the only reason why it's not that great of a game because you don't get to go around bashing people's heads in with a fucking blunt dog like you do in every other game, which is that's essentially if you're a fan of Thief, that's not the point of the game. The point of the game is to make it through there without alerting anybody. So, kind of like how you'd say Metal Gear Solid. And are you going to be buying Titanfall on the Xbox 360 or the Xbox One? I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure how the Xbox 360 version is going to play. Seeing as it's not running on the cloud and it's also uh, done by different developers. I think the same developers that did the Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. And do you think that it's this is Microsoft's attempt to sway people's hands in t into um, going digital to a discless generation. And uh, do you think it's about time we've gone dis discless, or do you think it's too soon to go discless? And I'm going to let this gameplay play out. It's pretty funny ending. Uh, what pretty much happens is I'm running, I'm just about to make it to the drop ship, and all of a sudden I get shot in the back and die the second like a second away from jumping in the ship. As I said before, I'm Anthony. I hope you guys enjoyed. And... Yeah. Let me know what you think. Drop trip arrived. 